think we do have a shot of building the best office building in the world. If you look at this picture, definitely the mothership has landed here in Cupertino. <laughs> mm -hmm. For me, the project started in the summer of 2009. Out of the blue, a telephone call. It's Steve. Hi, Norman. I need some help. I was out there three weeks later. And look at this view. One of the most memorable things, and perhaps vital to the project, was Steve saying, don't think of me as your client. Think of me as one of your team. The first point of reference, I think, for Steve was the campus at Stamford, his home territory, and also the landscape that he grew up with. He still remembered it as the fruit bowl of America. The idea is to bring California back to Cupertino. The site was originally set down in the 1960s and 1970s with a focus on building commercial buildings, parking lots, with some decorative trees. Very few of the trees planted were indigenous, and very few of them were even well adapted to the site. Our plan is to transplant the strongest of the trees on the site and augment them with even more resilient species such as oaks that are well adapted to our dry climate. When Apple Campus 2 is finished, 80% of the site will be green space. We're maximizing the natural assets of the area. This area has a great climate, so 75% of the year we won't need air conditioning or heating. We'll have natural ventilation. Apple Campus 2 is going to run on 100% renewable energy. There'll be solar power. It'll be one of the largest solar arrays in the world for a corporate campus. Our goal is to build a campus that has no net increase in greenhouse gas emissions. This project is pushing the boundaries of technology in almost every aspect. The facade will be new, the glazing is a completely new system, never been done before. The concrete structure is unique. Everything is handcrafted for this project. We have a building which is pushing social behavior and the way people work to new limits. How are people going to work in the future and interact in the future? It didn't start as a circular building. It really grew into that. So the idea of one building with a great park was really born out of a very intensive process with many models, many presentations, and that process continues today. Apple's always been in Cupertino, and we're proud to be here. <laughs>